I think it's really hard to say. I don't think teams are going to pair up too much this year uh, because of the fact that almost every team has had like multiple car teams, like cars with two cars or three cars or four cars. Um, they have te- uh, drivers outside the playoffs. Hendrick has two drivers in, two drivers out. RCR has a driver and a driver out. Uh, so I, I think teams like that, uh, where we see kind of an alliance between RCR and Trackhouse in a way. If both the Trackhouse cars were in, maybe you'd see a little bit of an alliance between the Trackhouse cars and Austin Dillon. But the fact that you have a guy like Daniel Suarez who's already out but has a teammate in, Ross Chastain's going to help Daniel Suarez over a ca- guy like Austin Dillon. So I-, I think the fact that we have so many teams that have split even with a, dr- a couple drivers in, a couple drivers out, I think it's pretty much every team for themselves. I think Hendrick with Chase Elliott and Alex Bowen being out, I think William Byron and Kyle Larson will help those drivers get it. But when it comes down to those final five, 10 laps, Kyle Larson and William Byron aren't going to be pushing a guy like Austin Dillon or Daniel Suarez there there's team orders in play um we see the manufacturer game for the majority of the race the Chevys are going to play with the Chevys the Toyotas are going to find their team that they're going to go in and pit with because they are the smallest of the group and the Fords are going to play with the Fords uh but we see it every year around 10 five laps to go they split up. It's every man for themselves. And I think that's what we're going to see. I think we'll see the alliance of the bow ties and the Fords and the Toyotas kind of play up until the final 10, five laps. And that's when they all split and fend for themselves. So I'm going to ask the question I've been asking for a couple of weeks. When we first started, you said, oh, it's 60% chance he's going to get in. <laughs> and it dropped down to like 15%. And then it's been 1%. What is the percentage that Chase Elliott is going to make it in to this round of 16? I have a weird feel. I have a feeling that he's going to be really good this week. I don't know why. I, To me, Chase Elliott doesn't sound like a name that I'd pair with Daytona or Talladega. But I kind of feel like he could win this race. I don't know why. Um, out of all drivers, I, there's drivers outside the cutoff line that I'd pick over him. But I kind of want to bump my percentage up a little bit. I just feel like Chase Elliott is going to have a really good car. I think the pressure is on, and he's just going to make something happen. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I think 5%. I think oh, he's man. got a 5% shot to get into this race. I, I think Hendrick and Alan Gustafson are going to have a little bit of a schemed up plan to keep his car clean. And if there's like a 15-10 car wreck in this race and he misses it, I think there's a shot he can win the race. But Again, it's super low. I think his percent is like one to five percent. Uh, it's gonna be hard. I just got kind of a gut feeling that he's gonna be really good this week. Well, I'm gonna stick to what I said a few weeks ago on Fast Talk with Alexis Erickson and Daniel Trotta. Put a fork in him. He's done. <laughs> he's not gonna make it. It's just not gonna happen. And I know that he is NASCAR's most popular driver, and I'm doing air quotes if you're listening. You know, and you're not watching the video product, but I, most popular driver, I, I, he's just not going to make it. I mean, there's mm-hmm. the there's no consistency there. We've listed the stage wins and stage points stat at nauseum on this program a couple of times now. And even if he did make it, he's not going to get out of the round of 16 because all those playoff mm-hmm. points and stuff yeah. are going to reset. He has zero playoff points, and he's going to have to win at, you know, Darlington, Kansas, and Bristol. Places mm-hmm. where, I mean, he's been good at Bristol before, He's hasn't ran great at Darlington in the past, and there's other teams that I think are better than his particular team at those racetracks. So to me, if he gets into the round of 16, he's got one shot at Bristol. Mm-hmm. I just I, I don't think it's going to happen. I think I don't either. I, I, if he's he just not going to make it, I mean, it's, it's it, I just don't think he's going to make it. I give him. I'm yeah. like you. I'm not going to say that it's impossible. But I'm going to give him like half a percent. I mean, that's that's all I'm going to give. I don't have the same gut reaction that you have where you're like, oh, I feel like he's going to be good. I, I just don't see it. I think there's a couple of other teams that are a little bit more hungry than him, and that's going to be 